Hey there, and welcome to this uh, reading for April 2019. This is Christy Martin with Art of Awakening, and this is the first of, um, we're just kicking off a whole month of daily uploads for the month of April, and this is in celebration of uh, reaching a thousand subscribers last month. I just am so grateful to all of you who have subscribed, um, grateful for every single like and share and comment, love your comments. Also, thank you so much to those who have um, worked with me and uh, purchased sessions or also purchased my uh, animal awareness deck. I really, really appreciate that support and um, moving forward here. So this is a general reading for the month of April, asking for highest and best insight and guidance for highest and best good for the month of April. Anybody who is drawn to this, I really, I'm going to show you the decks first. I'm uh, using the uh, Mermaids and Dolphins deck from Doreen Virtue, as well as my own Spirit of Animal Awareness deck. The reason I'm choosing these decks, I had actually recorded this um, a reading for April earlier, and I think the, the reading was valid, but it just didn't, there was something that didn't feel right, and I think it was because I was using a couple of decks that had a lot of masculine energy, and it was just like too much. It was just like I felt overwhelmed the whole time. And I feel like I feel like right now the masculine is really coming forward, coming forward for healing, starting like this is divine masculine I'm talking about, which is super different than the patriarchal energy that we've been coming out of. Um, and it's really a beautiful thing. But um, with going into Aries season, we're in an Aries season right now, going into an Aries full moon, just a lot of that <laughs> kind of proactive, very... Um, kind of masculine for a lot of fire and I'm feeling like there's a lot of like people that I've been connected with that have been feeling kind of overwhelmed I'm feeling a little bit <laughs> overwhelmed right now um, and just feels like there's a lot of self-care would be a super good thing and this is just sort of an energy update on my part for April really keep an eye on self-care um, you know if you feel like like things are going too fast, take some deep breaths, you know, go into meditation. It's okay to, um, you know, just step back a little bit, spend some alone time, journal, um, you know, because this looks like it could be a very busy month and that, you know, in, in a good way. I mean, I, I'm feeling like there's a lot of opportunities that can open up a lot of, um, like if you've been stuck in any kind of um, area of your life, it could be projects or relationships or whatever. This this may be the the month where it really starts to free up, and um, you know there there's a lot of creative energy going on that you can tap into. But all that kind of creative energy can get sort of exhausting. So do not neglect the self care this month. Very very important. And if you can pull water into the mix somehow, make sure you keep yourself hydrated. Uh, baths, maybe go swimming, maybe sit by some water, listen to the water flowing. It could be a very soothing thing to help with all the busyness. All right, so coming up first, um, positive energy. All right, so this is really, really, really important for this month. Um, again, with all this kind of, um, there's a certain amount of volatility or just action, creative potential. Um, it's it's really easy. Hey Jazz, it's my dog. Um, really easy to 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 really again get overwhelmed. So staying positive, surround yourself with positive people, situations, avoid negativity, and that includes your thoughts. Like if you feel yourself, <laughs> there's there's my dog Jasmine drinking. She's bringing some water into the mix. So thank you, Jasmine. Um, so like. If you feel yourself like getting uptight, like just really stay aware of your mental and emotional, the climate that you've created for yourself or what's coming up for you mentally and emotionally and stay very, very aware because you can direct that energy if you notice that things are getting down, that you're getting stressed out, um, redirect yourself, you know, either do what you need to do to take care of yourself or redirect your thoughts like if you start getting the i can't thoughts or the you know uh, the victim kind of mentality turn that around you're not a victim none of us are victims like unless we choose to be 
right? So, um, you know, choose to empower yourself and you can choose who you hang out with. We can't always choose that, right? Um, we can choose how we respond to them, and but we can also choose to proactively, you know, sometimes we can choose to avoid those people that we feel are not supporting us and spend time with people who are. All right, so next card to come up is Salmon. Again, bringing that water in, really important. Um, this energy right now is like, I see salmon as a real ascension creature. I see it as really, um, you know, when a salmon does the salmon run, moving up the stream um, in the spring, I think it's usually in the springtime, um, moving up to spawn, right? They have a goal in mind. They are very, very focused. Okay, so this is a really good time though you're going to get the most out of this month if you take a little time to get very very clear on your ideals what's important to you and your goals you know what you desire in your life and make sure that those are aligned because it's really easy to have goals that are not really ours or not really aligned um but whatever we keep in mind that's what we're going to create in our life so if 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 you, you know, be, and here's again, this positive energy and being very aware of your thoughts. Um, you, it's easy to put goals down on paper, but if we start worrying around those goals, then that sort of hijacks the goal. The worries hijack the goal. So the worry becomes in effect the goal because that's what you're centering your, your, your focus on, right? So really be clear on where is your focus and is it staying positive? And if you do that, then the action, because this is a really good month for taking action, keeping aware of the goal, keeping it positive, keeping it aligned, then your actions are going to follow through and it's going to help create um, the conditions, the results that you desire. That's manifestation. Okay, so this is a really good kickoff month this year for manifesting what you want. Not that it's necessarily going to all manifest this month, but you can be setting the seeds. It's a good seed planting time. And uh, really moving into the new moon, especially setting intentions. All right, and speaking of that, next card is morning affirm affirmations. I'm gonna pull this up here a little bit. I'm sure you can see. All right, morning affirmations. All right, so again, this really ties in with the goals, with the setting, the, the, the positive energy. Um, you know, this may be a good time this month to spend some time every morning. If you don't have a morning ritual, good month to start one. Morning ritual is really important to make sure that you're, you're you know, keep yourself to just a little alignment practice every morning to help stay on track with your goals, on track with your positive energy. And if you don't have a lot of time in the morning, just make a little ritual. It could be a five minute ritual, it could even be a two minute ritual. It could just be something that you say to yourself while you're brushing your teeth, whatever it is. But it's really important to set that day off, you know, in a way that's positive, in a way that's gonna help you to reach your goals, to achieve your goals, to to stay on track with what you want, which you know, because we do we are the creators, we are our own artists. We are the artists of our own lives. And if you want your life to be a thing of beauty, then it's really, we have to stay aware. Part of being an artist is really being aware at all times of what's happening, what's happening around us, what's happening um, on, the, on the paper or whatever, however we're creating. Um, you know, I, there's art that goes way beyond just uh, the creative arts. It's, you know, the healing arts. Anything that you do can be art. And last card here. Oh, look at all the water. Look at all the water. I love it. Blue whale. All right. So whales, like, okay, it's a couple things that are coming forward. One is really going deep. And... This is really setting the stage. So what happens in this month is it can be foundational. It can be foundational to like a new life that you want to lead, a new project. I'm, I'm really feeling like, um, you know, this can be like the seeds that we're planting now. These roots 
are going to really go deep. Or there's the potential for that anyway. Um, so whatever seeds you plant now, they have the potential for really going deep. And that can go either way. If you're staying in that positive energy, you're doing your morning affirmations. If you're staying, um, you know, staying on purpose, knowing your purpose, you know, you know, knowing your intentions, knowing who you are, setting your goals and, and staying focused, then those roots can be very, very um, strong. The, you know, the seeds that you sow this month, you know, they're going to grow real strong and they're going to really grow into something beautiful over the next few months and years. Um, but if you allow the negative energy to come forward, it, it, this month there's there's a lot of powerful manifestation energy this month you know you're gonna get those weeds coming up and it's um, you know not that they can never be pulled out but they may be kind of tenacious weeds right so we want to really really keep it positive this month um, and then the other thing coming up with whale is communication so this is a little bit of the a whales telling us a little bit about how we want to make sure that we are speaking our truth and really paying attention to this is very much throat chakra thing right um, really pay attention to your body and your emotions and your thoughts but especially your body and your emotions I'm getting and honor them whatever that's coming through for you um, you know if you've been the kind of person that like kind of clamps down on the emotions or doesn't you know honor them or, or just feel figures you can like this is really I'm speaking to really strong people here right really strong people who can take it and who are able to kind of handle stuff just sometimes it's like we we push through situations because we're survivors but this is really this energy right now is asking us to pull, like step out of the survivor mode and into the thriving. Okay? Because the survivor just like it's good to be a survivor, right? But I think we are starting to get to the point where we can start transgressing that. And because what the survivor mentality tells us is that things are hard, right? And if we step out of the survivor, I can handle this, and into, I can really take charge of this, there's a big difference there, okay? From I can handle it, and, I, you know, <laughs> that's just kind of taking on this energy and bearing this burden, right, into, oh, well, you know, even if things are challenging, even if we've got backup alarms going when we're making a video, we can actually kind of roll with that and turn it into a positive. So really stepping into your power this month. And part of that is communicating, first of all, to yourself, what's really going on here. You know, this is not like pushing things under the rug. This is taking them out and looking at them. But this is also being communication in a way that is powerful but like powerful and strong but like not like whales are, are very communal and they're very supportive of each other so supportive communication so you can this may be an invitation to speak out about your boundaries but be careful like not to do it in a way that is antagonistic right just be true to yourself and things will go just fine hmm. all right so just trust things are going to go just fine just stay stay in that positive energy bring the water in if you need it and have a lovely month thanks so much for joining me and i'll catch you again tomorrow